All right, guys, so we got our pump. That's my little sump pump. We're gonna start pumping water out. We're gonna put it in a five gallon bucket so it doesn't suck up a lot of mud. Start it up, guys. Heck yeah, dude. Could run right off the culverts. It's pumping. The water is actually quite clear and it's cold. Pipe in there. There's the water level. We'll come back and check it in a couple hours. I'm gonna go. This is the other side of the culvert pipe over here. Don't y'all get in the mud. Come on, get out of the mud. Get out, 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 get out. Go. It's raining pretty good down in there. That's that spot I cleared out. That, that tree I pushed out in that video was, was uh, right there. I'm trying to make a trail here, Kimber. No, no. But eventually what we're going to do is take this culvert pipe out and put about probably a 15 inch culvert pipe in for the overflow for the pond. Because when it rains, this area gets flooded pretty good. Y'all tell me what size culvert pipe y'all think I would need to handle an overflow on this pond. Y'all just leave it in the comments. Let me know what y'all would do. Well, here we are right at three hours later. This side's completely out of the water now. I guess if I wanted to, I could start digging that out a little more. All right, we're gonna let it pump for a couple more hours. All right, guys, here's where we're at. Got it down low enough to start digging on this, so we're gonna start right there and making it wider.
man. So we got a little more dug out. That water's starting to come back right there in that spot. Right there. But well, we left this running all night. And interestingly, the water level came up. Stuck that golf club down there where it was barely touching the water. Now it's got water all around it, so it's a good sign, I would think. But before we do any more excavating, we got a lot of dirt. A lot of dirt right there to move. All right, we got the dirt moved. Uh, what we're going to do now is I bought one of those uh, a measuring roller, so I'm, I'm going to measure out the pond, and I'm going to see exactly how big I'm going to make it. And also got some spray paint. We're going to spray paint it out. But before I do that, I need to cut the grass around here because it's pretty high. Really no point in spray painting if it's high. So we're going to get that grass cut, and then we'll be back with the measuring roller and the spray paint. All right, guys. So we got, we got the uh, spray paint marker roller in. And I guess I must have read the description wrong, but there is no uh, tracker for footage on it. So we'll get that later, but we got it marked out to where, where I want to take this pond. It's going to be a pretty good size, but uh, as soon as I can get a, a, a roller measure, I'll, uh, I'll give you all the dimensions of how long and how wide it's gonna be. You can barely see this line right here. Okay, there it is. Going around. So yeah, that's it. We got a, we got a lot of digging to do, but let me show you all this spot again. That spot just keeps getting more and more water in it. And we set another, we set a marker on that water level because I want to see if that water level is coming up because I stuck one in the ground last night that wasn't touching the water. And this morning, the water level came up to it. So it definitely gained a little bit of water. I just want to see if it's still gaining. We got a lot of digging to do, y'all. We're going to get it done, though. If y'all haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hopefully we'll have a, a nice fish pond 